after we spoke last time, I went to the dentist to try to get my teeth in, and they they got them in, but it was a nightmare, still painful, and they didn't do anything. I was very, I cried. I want to show you the picture of me crying. This is the day I went back in pain, mortified, and the teeth the teeth won't go in. So I went home that day after they wouldn't do anything to help me, and I got my receipt out. I was quoted four thousand dollars for extractions only. Of course, they didn't tell me I needed gum surgery. I didn't get. They didn't give me a consultation. They just. I don't even know how this happened. But anyway, I was quoted four thousand for extractions only. So the, the day I went back five days later, still miserable, and able to eat, and went through all I did, and they couldn't. They wouldn't and couldn't help me. I went home and looked at my receipt. So I decided to look up the dental coding on my list of for extractions. Uh, the lady told me to do the procedure. She would give me free dentures because she wanted to help me. I wanted uh, I wanted implants, but I couldn't afford them, she said, and on and on. My teeth were going to fall out, so she's going to help me and give me free dentures. And here they are, right here. They wouldn't work. They're horrible. They wouldn't go in my mouth. You can't put hard plastic on 29 teeth pulled areas, you know. So I look at my receipt, and Letty actually charged me for the dentures. I looked up dental codes. First of all, I should have got gum surgery. I paid $1,000 for gum surgery because when you have perio and you have bone loss and you pull 29 teeth at one time, there's no flat surface for teeth. But, of course, I didn't get that in consult. consult. I didn't even know I was charged for it. But now I know after suffering so much and unable to wear dentures like I have new ones and it's still excruciating, I put them in to talk to you. But I still have bones sticking out. So if I would have had the albo surgery as per the code I had to look up with Google, and found out that I, char I was charged a thousand dollars for gum surgery I didn't get. If I would have got the gum surgery, I might have been able to wear these, but probably not. They're one size fits all, machine made with my name made in them. So, also found out that I was charged nine fifty for these. These are my free dentures that cost me nine hundred fifty dollars. This is the uh, this would never go on bone. Um, I have still have bone protruding. When you get elbow surgery that I paid for, it, I, I had to look it up and educate myself on it because they didn't. They split your gum, they shaved the bone down, and they sew it back up. I didn't get not one suture, so that's why I pretty much bled for three days. So 29 teeth. He had my teeth pulled in 30 minutes and sent me out the door. I was on, I had to go get my medicine by myself. There was blood all in my car. I could barely drive. I mean. You don't do somebody this way. Four thousand dollars for extractions is what I thought, but what I paid for was thousand dollar gum surgery. Had I got the gum surgery, I could have worked. Not probably not these, but something. But um, this is devastating my life now. I still need the gum surgery because I still can't wear these very long because I've got bone protruding. Because he didn't give me that, but I didn't know I needed it in the first place. Also, didn't spend nine hundred fifty dollars on immediates. They're like three hundred fifty dollars on their website. So Letty, the office lady and the doctor's girlfriend, decided that she would con me. I didn't see this that day. The only thing that I was shown with Letitia, the office lady, was this. Here's off. For, she wrote off a immediate six seventy two and four thousand. That was my charge. I thought for extractions. Meanwhile, the next day after my surgery. I got this, but I didn't look at it for a week or two because I couldn't function. That day I went back and they didn't help me and they, they told me they look great and I just need to suffer through the pain. I decided to go home and get my receipt and look it up. And I literally had to Google. So how many people pay for things that they didn't get? He had no intention on delivery. I didn't and then I disputed it with care credit, the charges, and the office lady said that I, I bought nine hundred and fifty dollar immediates. No immediates are nine hundred and fifty dollars. That's the premium set. So literally I've been scammed. Now, after looking them up online and investigating them, their, their Yelp ratings talk about the officers being called. So when people go back, like if I were to go back, they're not going to make this good. They made that clear. Um, I, I would have an officer have me escorted off the property, and that happens all the time. So it's also fra dental fraud that they committed. Not only did they make me suffer, lose a lot of work, have to go buy $1,800 teeth from another good dentist, they conned me out of $2,000. So. All this I've been through, I paid four thousand for. Meantime, that's the only thing I. I it's horrible what they do to people. I can't even imagine a doctor getting away with this this long. So that's my story. Here's my nine hundred and fifty dollar free dentures. You probably can't see that, but there's my name on them. I believe these are machine made, and they just spit out one size fits all because the office lady did tell me this is what everybody gets. If it is what everybody gets, then do they pay nine fifty for these? I don't think so. These would never work. There's nothing to even hold on to. My nothing. I mean, I've learned a lot now. I wish I would have looked them up. 
I would have never done it. Loss of work, you know. So now I'm about out six thousand dollars. The only thing that they would do was two thousand for the extractions. That had I been educated like they should have educated me about the whole situation, I would have never done it. I wouldn't have gone through this. After that day, after I went home, I called them back and I said, "You charged me for nine fifty for free dentures." She left me on hold and hung up or hung up on me. So I'd wait a few more days. I went to two different dentists who asked for my. They won't give me my records, probably because there are none. They won't give me my records, and I had my doctor because I lost 20 pounds. I was 134. I'm probably 115. I don't know, but um, I don't have any weight to lose. I'm I'm very skinny. Um, I went to my doctor. She asked for my records. So they even charged my credit card $20 once at one dentist to get my records, and then she sent a, a note back uh, that I'm sorry, we can't help you, and then she, we will refund her money. So there's a reason. They've been running cons on people for a while, I believe, but I'm not going to let it go. I did dispute with care credit. Letitia, the office lady, sends them a letter saying that I bought the dentures. and So I'm having to prove. It's real hard to prove when she wrote on here off immediate because they don't know what that 670 uh, professional discount. You wouldn't give somebody off the street a 672. And I said, that's for dentures. They, that's these. Anyway, I, I'm mortified that I went through that, and if I would have known I was going through so much, I would have got help. I mean, I, I was alone. I had PTSD, and I, she said, like, you're going to lose your teeth and offer me free dentures, and I did it. Within 24 hours, I was toothless. No sutures. I mean, at least sew something up, and you expect me to stick these in there? That I cried. I mean, this is the most suffering. I've never had kids. I couldn't imagine what childbirth is like. I have been in so much pain and continue two months later to be in pain. I can't eat with these. There's still bone protruding. I mean, I had perio. That's why when I went for my initial consultation, I didn't go to, to get my teeth pulled that day. I went for implants. I got approved for care credit the night before for 4000 I was going to find out. It transpired so much that she goes, you don't have enough. You're going to lose your teeth, and we'll give you this free teeth, and I did it. Only to find out that I was not only scammed, I have been suffering for two months, and I'm a hairdresser. I've literally had to do hair without teeth. And go to another dentist and spend $1,800 to start the process all over again. But I, I, I can't get the gum surgery. Now it would be double to get the gum surgery, which was 1000 It cost me 2000 now. If I really wanted to be able to wear the teeth right and not have to take them out, I go to work and wear them a couple hours and take them out because I literally have – It's there's not about adjusting. It, there's, there's too much bone to keep adjusting every day. It'll have to smooth out within months. And I understand you have to learn how to wear dentures, and it's hard to do. Nothing compares to what I've been through. It, this should have never happened, and it continues to happen. Let me excuse me. The first time I did this food care credit, they uh, denied it, and I opened it back up again. I've sent their ratings. All their ratings about pictures of the cops coming, and I'm just been on it. I have a file, you know, full. This is what I look like the day they put them in. Five days later, they squished them in my mouth. These are horse teeth. I mean, I was crying. I've been crying. They told me that I had too high of expectations, and the pain. I mean, they had to shove the teeth in. And the lady that uh, put the teeth in, he, the dentist didn't even come in there. But he told me he would re refund me for the dentures that day I went back. I said, I didn't pay for them. At that time, I still didn't know I didn't. Pay, I paid for them. I went home and looked up. His people kept going, that's $4,000. That's a lot of money to pull your teeth. So, I mean, during the whole courses, you don't have the energy to even do anything. It's less trying to function, maybe go to work. I mean, to cut three weeks without me going to work was too I, – I, I'm still behind. But I'm a, I'm a survivor, and, and I, I just, I'm just going to make it. But I do want to stop other people from going there and realizing you're either going to get scammed, and if you go back, the cops are going to get called. or they're, Once they get you prepay, I pre, you prepay. Once they're done, you're, they're, like I said in the last video, which you get that, they get your money the first day you're done. They're going to do it a little bit and call the cops on you when you go back. What he said was what they normally would do. Is pull the back ones first and then let that heal and pull the first ones. Now, I went there because I was so mortified about my, losing my teeth because I knew someday I was going to. I spent a lot of money trying to keep them with periodontally. I didn't go there to get them pulled that day. I wanted to prevent being toothless. When in actuality, what happened was I'm toothless. He looked at me and he goes, Oh my God. How can you put, uh, I mean, he, I went to two dentists and, and, my, and a doctor and they're like, my doctor is not dentist, but she looked at my mouth and goes, oh, my God. How can they send somebody off and expect them and put them through such suffering? If I paid $1,000 that I didn't even know I paid for gum surgery, give me gum surgery so I can put my teeth in and go to work. 
they never told me how to wear dentures. They never told, I never knew nothing. I had the consultation with the office lady, didn't see the dentist. The next day, he literally, my jaw still pops. He popped in teeth out in 30 minutes. And I said, they're coming out fast. He goes, well, something might happen. $4,000 in 30 minutes I spent. And I was in and, and, and con. I mean, it's devastating to me to know that at that time I had beautiful teeth and then they're gone. And not only did they, I mean, I trust them. You trust somebody like that. And look, what, what are you just going to eat? But I'm, the majority of them are elderly. They're not even, I'm 55. And they do this to people. How many people get conned and don't even look at their uh, receipt and look up the dental codes? Dental code defrauding is wrong. Mm -hmm.